You know what it is. We're gonna sit back, chillax, drink some coffee. Not really, I'm drinking water, but the point still stands. Uh, however, it is actually quite warm, so I gotta take this off. One second. Ah, okay. Sweet. <laughs> Annoying Capta MP4. <laughs> I like to imagine that's the official title for that attack solo. I'm genuinely surprised we haven't gotten like a little bit of a copyright issue with this game. It feels like there would be, but apparently not. Apparently we're all good. Look, oh, it's you. Hey Shane, how's the night so far? Fucking shit. <laughs> it's calm, as usual. Got a slight problem though. Hmm? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. If you need other paths for attacks, I'll do other... As long as you can... As you can see, the list is long. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, I appreciate the help, Ghost. So I'm just taking things slow. <laughs> Writer's block again. Got that right. What are you writing now? You remember my plan to... Hold that thought. Ah. Pardon the interruption. Machine is ready. Do you want a triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. You know what? I'm feeling like... Yeah, alright, I'll, I'll make it for you today. I won't just serve you bland milk. There you go. You're lucky, I'm feeling generous. God damn, where did our viewership go, guys? I said it was coming right back. One cup of triple shot espresso. Especially for my only customer tonight. That aroma. Exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go alright. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? No, you were right. He said something I should have thought about myself. What were you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took... Sorry, guys. I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Have I restarted? Wait, 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 hold up a second. This is the, this is the first episode. Isn't it? If I have the other characters, then... I guess it isn't, then. Sounds a lot like we haven't spoken before or something, but... Okay, right. My bad. I wasn't here for the first episode, so I can't compare. It's just she said all of this about, like, 
I mean, this is- we know she's writing a novel already. And she talked about, like, bumping into the- the big man. I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator, so naturally I pitched my book idea. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If I can get my draft ready in a month, he'll put some strings. Yeah, I know all this. You said this. What the fuck is happening? I said continue. Day one. Amnesia. This is fucking... This is wrong. What the fuck? Where's my save? What the fuck is happening? Don't piss me off even more than necessary. Last play... No, that's fucking wrong. You're fucking wrong, though. That's today, because the last time was like a few seconds ago when I quit out. Yeah. It's already zero. You don't know, but you died and came back to a checkpoint. Do you want to continue the story? Last play day one. No, I fucking don't. Did you overwrite my save? What the fuck is happening? 27th... 27th... Surely... Yes. What the fuck? Why are you still here? I'm, I'm afraid to go into the save, because I don't want to... ...22nd of September. Yeah. I know that, I know that, I know that, I know... No, I don't want to fucking restart it. I want to play from where I'm supposed to be fucking playing, game. Why are all these... grey? Okay, so this is where the game starts. Yeah, you talk to the three of them. Then the four of them. Then all of these. We did that last night. Then this one. This one. Fucking gaslight me. Fuck. What the fuck was that all about? <laughs> Jesus Christ. And why were some of the days li uh, Whatever. I was having a fucking stroke, dude. I was like, I know I've seen this. Yeah, okay. This is the day. Right? This is definitely new. Okay. S fucking save. Do you want to override your- yeah, yes, please. Would have been terrible that it overwrite the saves. Yeah, yeah, they would have been, because you would have had no choice but to sit through it all. Okay, alright. Now let's watch. <laughs> Fuck me. Welcome. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening, sir. I switched on mobile and autocorrector said overnight. <laughs> yeah, I hate when that shit happens. Ah, the usual Earthling linguistic problem. We will never get used to that. Is it okay if I call you, sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. Alright, dumb fuck. Do not mind a bit. Do you want to order anything, sir? Oh, yes. We have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. What do you recommend? We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. <laughs> Okay, what's the most expensive drink we have? What do you mean? It is alright. Forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? <laughs> you ass yourself? I was joking! <laughs> Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. That's a shit business model. <laughs> really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. Have you decided on what to order then? Okay, we would like to order anything. 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 Well, cheapest goes. Here you go. 
I know that's counterintuitive to what I just said a second ago, but... Fuck it, the joke has to stand. You take a tap water, and you pay $8 for a class. <laughs> like, that's so stupid. Like, you're charging... You're charging the same... For... A glass of milk... As you would for, say, like, you know... An espresso coffee with ginger and lemon or something like that. You know, like, with a bunch of shit and, like, preparation. Milk and lemon it is. <laughs> oh, go. Oh, the more I think about that. Bleh. Your drink is ready, sir. I hope it's to your liking. Don't worry, it will not matter to us. How are you going to drink it? Let us drink this. Uh -huh. Kurt. Um. Yes. Uh, nothing. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Why did you put your finger in the drink? That's a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it. Yes, drinking it. Oh yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Usually a polypro... <laughs> Usually a polypro... Clean dr nope. Drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. Pardon? It is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. A straw! Yes! We wonder why your things rely on it so much. Effort. <laughs> Mostly you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick apparatus was provided on 87.76% of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become one of the biggest single use pollen. <laughs> Pollutants on your planet. Awesome. Great. I've got a spaceman from. <laughs> well, space. Educating me on uh, pollution. Nice. How do you drink with a straw? The same as we just did. Well, thanks to the plastic stick apparatus. Save the turtle. <laughs> we do not need to use our appendages. We do not need to put our appendages into the liquid mixture you call drinks. Drinking in a straw is just a different feeling. Yeah, and attempting to drink through a paper straw is a, a very strong feeling of pain. <laughs> it is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision-making processes. I see. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. Can I just say as well, like, you know, to us the viewer... Since we have no, you know, uh, knowledge of this universe or anything, uh, this is weird. To my character, it should be completely fine. I mean, we, we've had vampires, we have werewolves, we had a cat lady, uh, succ succ succubus. You know, we had an elf, but but this this is the straw. <laughs> Affirmative. By the way, you said you just arrived. Where did you come from? You said it. You said it. Ah, uh, yeah, you got it. There you go. <laughs> you said it, right? Uh, where did you come from, sir? Far. Fuck stupid shit. <laughs> it would be too complicated to tell you all the details. But we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission. Yes. Global genocide. Thank you for the coffee. I'll be leaving now. <laughs> what kind of mission? Find what the Earthlings call a, <laughs> a female. And then... Breed. So you go for a faraway place to find a date. Date? The stupid shit in my brain at midnight. I, I understand, bro. Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. No, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. <laughs> I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. <laughs> English processing going down and down. <laughs> yeah, Ghost, this might not be the easiest conversation for you to think. Earthlings really need to work on the communication. There are so many ways to make communication more direct and simple. Of all the places we have been to, this place is the worst communication methods. Can't argue with that. So how's the mission so far? Not good. We are using this unique communication application. According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. 
although the success rate of the breeding is not as high as the interaction. Huh? I never heard about it. Wait, are you talking about a dating app? The system used a fire symbol as their sign. Tinder. There, there, there. <laughs> you are talking about a dating app. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. <laughs> and when two interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence the introduction to the breeding process. It didn't go well, I assume. Most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. And they said some words that cannot be considered proper. <laughs> there is their eyes, but also they are stupid. Hey, ghost, you got a real... You know, for somebody who's like not their first language isn't English, you got a pretty great grasp of it. I know people who are British <clears throat> who uh, can't. <laughs> this is something I've never struggled with. Is he talking about Tinder? Yeah, he is, yeah. I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them. So, some of them actually did not get mad. Oh, some of them are laughing with text. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear. But some did. Yes, but we got confused with the same way they communicate. No outcome from the meetings. Even though we decided to go to various recommended places according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of the be one of the recommended places. Imagine speaking every language on Earth. I'm pretty sure there's some people who would be close to. I, I don't know if there's anyone who knows all of them. Probably not, but more than 7k. Oh, shit. Okay, well then, yeah, no, they probably don't. No, no. Yes. Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone. But she should have arrived some time ago. Impossible. Maybe each Earthling also has different interpretations of time. To be fair, I didn't even know there was over 7k languages. That's crazy. Right about that. Good evening, miss. Evening. Would you like to order something? Cafe latte, please. Why can't you all just drink milk, for fuck's sake? Yeah, for like 190-ish countries. That's crazy, right? Uh, brew pet. You said a cafe latte? Yeah. Coffee milk milk. There's a fucking language that is all tongue clicks. <laughs> How have I already forgotten? <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Coffee milk milk, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Do you know the way? <laughs> I was trying to fucking replicate what you said, but... <laughs> it, <laughs> it didn't sound right. Thought they are. Oh, shit. Invert. Wait, one. Oh, we can't tongue pop. I don't know. <laughs> I can do the I can do the fucking predator thing. Hang on. Watch now. As soon as I go to fucking do it, it's not gonna work. Yeah, hang on. Fuck, I can't do it now. Fuck, nah, I can't do it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ah I hate that when you go to say, oh yeah, I can do this. <laughs> Next time we do the Predator stream. Trust, trust, I can do it. I don't know what I'm doing. Here, here, fucking... <laughs> I'm just gonna cover the top of your latte, okay? Here you go, here's... Here's, <laughs> here's some artwork for you. <laughs> that probably translates to something. Maybe. Hang on. Wait, give me a second. My mouth's probably too dry. Fuck, nah, I can't do it. I can usually fucking do it, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's more like one of the only impressions that I can actually do well. God damn. In a far off land, someone is offended. 
It's a masterpiece? Yeah, sure. <laughs> How is it? Good. Glad you like it. I added like a ton more milk on top. Are you here to read again? Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy your time. <laughs> He's like, woman. <laughs> Can I help you with something? Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Excuse us. Yes. Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. When I was younger, my throat could just do weird shit, and I could almost replicate the high pitch cry from an eagle. Damn. Fuck. No, I can't. For some reason. Fuck. I can't do it tonight. Shit. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I, I'm, I'll give up for tonight. <laughs> I can't do anything right tonight. I would do crow sounds. Because <laughs> we are waiting for someone from this app. And she is an orc, just like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But is your name Urukai69? Oh my god. Is this guy sane? Please pardon them, miss. I don't think they're from around here. So, you have not answered our question. Are you Urukai69? No. My name is Miritol. Miritol? And I never use Urukai69 anywhere. Oh. You really are not her. Uh, bro, this pr this looks like someone's gonna kick your ass, alright? You better stop. Seriously, men nowadays. My dude, you don't even know. <laughs> He's from a fucking different planet. It's still men's fault. <laughs> if you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends? Or go to a club or something. But we don't have any friends on Earth. <laughs> hey, when you said he's not from around here, are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, from what I've gathered up to now, they're not from this planet. Man. Pardon us for interrupting. But when you say club, which activities are you talking about? According to the search result, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting. Like this club about space exploration. They call themselves Trekkies. Forget everything I said. <laughs> what time were you supposed to meet this or female orc? About an hour ago, according to the local time. <laughs> She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming. Are they seriously doing the fucking ooh-woo sort of <laughs> fingers to the <like>, ooh -woo. <laughs> They are! <laughs> I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it, according to the application. He's so sad. He got got, for real, for real. Did she reply? No. Ouch. If she didn't reply, I'm 100% sure she built. She's not coming. I believe Miss Miracle will right. That was... We are a pretty objective people. Somehow, Earth's vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. This has happened before? Many times. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that. It might be a sign you need to change your strategy. Earth thinks you strategies to breed? most complicated strategies, in fact. Your kind never ceased to amaze us. He put out his booty call and it wasn't received. If that's the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You can stay if you like. Oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. But we will visit this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please just call me Shane. Thank you for your time, Shane. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. Sure. It's called norm, by the way. Uh, breeding norms. Although you can use also use strategy as the keyword. We will keep that in mind. Okay then, we're off. Take care on your way. I was really hoping they'd just go through the ceiling. <laughs> Let me guess, Freya? And there it is. Whoa boy, who the hell was that? 
Oh, hi there, Freya. What's an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Laika the dog? <laughs> a date from a dating app. Should have been here. What does their date look like? <laughs> the date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. <laughs> Why didn't they remove the astronaut suit first going on the date? I mean, showing off your job is pretty common. But it doesn't have to be that literal, you know? <laughs> I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. What do you mean? There might be an alien. Alien? Like Englishman New York alien or alien alien? I love that song. Alien alien. Outer space. Probably. Or other dimensions, I don't know. Wow. Like, super wow. I mean, I know you got a lot of different visitors here, but... Wow. Life is never boring here. That's why I'm writing about it. And failing from the looks of it. Oh yeah, how's it going so far? The writing? Yes, the writing. With capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? <laughs> and thus the confidence goes away. <laughs> uh... You could just say no. What do you mean? Can I read the draft you've written so far? No. <laughs> Please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Be more confident in your work. Yeah, you were about three seconds ago until somebody wanted to look at it. <laughs> you know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident with it, maybe I can share some feedback. You're right. I actually have prepared a printout of the draft. So you were planning to show it all along. <laughs> I wasn't sure about it. It's the first presentable draft, anyway. Come on, I know the drill. I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. Alright, alright. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. It's shit. Now we can hand it over. <laughs> Look so fucking scared. <laughs> it's okay, bro. Here it is. Thank you. Now, let's see. <clears throat> In the beginning, there was... <laughs> How was it? How was it? Let me read it at my own pace, okay? Hmm. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character. Oh my, is the character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. That's because you're not the inspiration. Too bad. You have a prime example standing in front of you every day. <laughs> prime example? You? You're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. Wait, I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. Oh, I hate that sound. Oh, I don't care if you have blue hair. You're squishy, and I don't like that. Anyway, <laughs> welcome. Would you like to drink here or, or take away, miss? Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding. I'll order right away. No need to hurry. Take your time. It's okay if I order something a bit complicated. You can order whatever you like. It's Undyne! <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> Let me get the gun! <laughs> as long as we have the ingredients. If that's the case, do you know masala chai? Sh chai? chai? Masala chai. A tea with spices? Yes. I'd like to order that thing, then, please. Um, okay. How the fuck does this work? You know something? Your drink actually isn't on my resume here. So, uh, can't help you. Would you like milk? <laughs> Is it a tea or a coffee? Oh yeah, well this helped me. Okay, there we go. Uh, tea with spices, okay. So just a normal tea. Cinnamon, honey, lemon, ginger. 
Send him in. What would qualify as spices? Ginger or lemon? Kazzy! You're a girl! <laughs> I don't... I don't fucking know, man. I'd be happy enough with the milk. Stop looking at me. <laughs> this is just getting awkward for the both of us. I think it'd be lemon or ginger. I ain't putting honey in that shit. Hmm. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's see. Your drink is ready. Hmm. Uh, yes, miss? Uh, nothing. I should give it a try first. As I thought. What do you think of it, miss? Sorry, I forgot you could hear me. The drink is... It's good. But it's not what I ordered. Oh my, that was my mistake. Well, to be, you could have told me the fucking ingredient. Don't worry about it, are you sure? Yes. Understood, miss. Tea with spices. I don't have any fucking spices. I have cinnamon, that's about it. Where were we? The main character. The character feels very you. You bet. If the readers know me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? Sounds so nar narcissistic. Don't worry about it. Yeah, see, that's because she is a narcissist. They won't notice it unless they know me personally. Hello. Hey, they found Idol. Back. Nice. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. If you say so. You're not challenging yourself very much. Sorry. Did you say something? Yes. Sorry for interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah, but I only write small-scale fiction. Short stories in the newspaper. Or non-fiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a, ro a novel right now, you know. In fact, I was just reading the first the draft for it. Hey! Wow! How many books have you written? Well, this would be my first book if I finished it. I've always wanted to be a fiction writer. But... Conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer. And even I can't use complex words like conjure like you just did. That's because you're a fake and a phony. <laughs> a lot of people have said that my vocabulary is uncommon. What do you do? What's your name again? Ah, pardon me. My name is Aqua. Of course it fucking is. Hi, Aqua. I'm Freya. And the barista here is Shane. Fuck the ogre beside me. They don't matter. <laughs> Nice to meet you. So yeah, what do you do? Uh, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know. Thanks. You said you can't write. But research papers need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed. But it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. What kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Whoa. It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Not something the media will cover, I guess. It would attract many readers. Oh my! I forgot you're a journalist. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Come on, you don't have to worry so much about everything. Hmm, Aqua. <laughs> Life on. You down bad, you gotta stop. It's <laughs> alright. Excuse me for interrupting. Yes? You said you're a researcher on computer graphics, right? Yes, that's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? About a 7 out of 10. <laughs> I did. It's pretty important for the project we're working on. May I ask what kind of project that is? Actually, 6.5. Damn, LeFon has fucking standards. It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
You work on FMC? Oops. I'm sorry, I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. Don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes the thing you worked on. I love that series so much. My name is Aqua, by the way. We already knew that. My name is Myr Myrtle. What do you do in the project? I'm one of the tactical artists. Ah, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further. But could I ask for your business card or something? Me and some friends have something we want to discuss. We submit queries through your department's contact form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department, and sometimes it takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course, should expect that. I don't have my card with me right now, but uh, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. This Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about. Is it the same series that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I hate the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. They have the budget for the flashy visuals, but I doubt they'll do the series justice. It just seems more useful than her goddess counterpart. <laughs> Very true. Why? Because some games tell their stories in a unique way. And some stories can only be told through this medium. Very true. Full Metal Alchemist live action. Oof. <laughs> and FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. She's trying to say she plays Roblox. The type of game you might see in an art gallery. Really? That's weird. You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people that play arty games are gamers that get bored of the current state of video games. That's true. Damn, we're going deep into this, huh? But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence a lot of the players are not gamers. And they're, not, and they're more accessible to play. But harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. Ghost, am I going too fast, by the way, or is this an okay pace? Sorry, I rambled on too, for too long. But at least that's what I think. Good point. Yeah, that was a really good perspective. I play those types of games thanks to people I hang out with. Yeah, you got that look of an artsy hipster, you know? No, very good. Okay. Nailed it. So you understand my point about the adaptation, right? Kinda. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to go home. We can talk to the bus stop. We can walk to the bus stop together if you want. Hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine. And of course, it won't bother me at all. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Shane. All I'm gonna say is... <laughs> You were a hell of a lot nicer to the Aqua E girl than you were to my boy in the spacesuit, okay? I'm just saying. You too, Miss Ray. Good luck with the writing. You take care on your way, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. So. Yes. That was a nice talk. But you haven't given... But you haven't... Heading off to bed, see ya? No problem, Cassie. I appreciate you stopping by tonight. You haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet. That is a typo. A typo. And I could see that you were reading it on, on and off. Well, it's kind of good. Look at that face. <laughs> Night, Kazakh. Seriously? That's it? I'm not an editor. Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? <laughs> yes. Really? You're mysterious, that much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Admit it. Okay, you got me. This won't be short. And I'll be really honest about it. <laughs> well, the night is young. <laughs> Bring it on. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. <clears throat> it's fucking trash. Burn it. Just the whole thing. Just start again. Pick a different shop. 
be a regular over there, and uh, never return. Night ghost. <laughs> Wait, is is ghost going? I think Ghost was just saying night to Kazzy. Though I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you head soon, Ghost, though it is getting quite late. Not this private joke. <laughs> Sunday, September 27, 2020. <sighs> yeah, alright, fuck it, we'll do one more chapter. Go on. Research found that most fury sedative on the market are not safe. Do you want to order anything else? I'm good for now. I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay then. I'll leave you with whatever that is. Because he keeps saying goodnight to me all evening long because my voice sounds sleepy. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh man. I must talk to Box and see how he gets chat up on screen, because it'd be nice to have the chat pop up for the VODs when I export them over to uh, to YouTube, because a lot of, like, when I'm replying to you guys, it might not make a lot of sense when people are watching back on YouTube. Oh, Aqua, fancy seeing you again so soon. Hi, Freya. Hi, Shane. Good evening, Ms. Aqua. How are you two doing? Same old. I'm good. How about you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Oops. I asked that already. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Myrtle here? So far, it's only me and Jen. We have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting her here tonight? Oh, it's not that. I was just wondering whether she's coming here again tonight. You have her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you just tell her to come and meet you here now? That always works for me whenever I want to talk to someone. That wouldn't be nice. It's not that important, anyway. I just want to follow up on the questions her team sent me today. Follow up directly, I mean. Anyway, I should order something. Take your time, Azakwa. It's alright, order now. I'll have a cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon, please. That's the drink I gave you yesterday. Do you just, like, choose to drink whatever I gave you, like, last time? That's pretty... If that's not just a coincidence, and that's actually how your character plays out, that you just accept and start liking whatever drink I gave you to begin with, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Sweet. Let's go, she's adorable. <laughs> Here's your order. Give it a try. How is it? Hmm. It's not bad, per se. But I'm sure it could be improved. Excuse me, bitch? With more lemon and less cinnamon. But, uh, I've only got the three slots. Like, either you get cinnamon or you don't. <laughs> like, I'll try that combination later. The fuck do you mean? <laughs> I t what? <laughs> Wait, no, hang on a second here. I get three slots. You need the tea. Okay. You need the lemon. I can't. To put in less cinnamon, I just have to exclude it entirely. You asked for cinnamon. You asked for cinnamon. <laughs> when did you arrive, Freya? I've been here since you left last night. Bull, bull, bull. Finish drinking first, Aqua. Sorry. I said you haven't left? I was just joking. Oh. That'd be crazy. Why? Oh no. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. Oh my god, this is like... This is the problem with modern day people. That's why I can't be a barista. <laughs> oh my god, okay, wait, 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 one second, boys. I gotta find a clip, because you guys don't watch Call Me Kevin. But like, when you said like, this is why I wouldn't want to be a barista, it just reminded me of something. You, go, you guys have to see it. Come on, somebody must have clipped it. Nobody clipped it? Oh, 
fuck. Okay, right. One second. Y you need to see this. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, guys, you still here? All right. Uh, I'd like you to just leave the stream for a second. Just go out, uh, go to this video and go to uh, five minutes and 53 seconds. Okay. They found you get that as well, yeah. just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, Shane. Please make sure you get enough rest. Of course I will, Miss Aqua. Thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Yes? Where do you come from? Because, judging from your accent, you're not from the States, right? I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Whoa, so you're a full-fledged ocean oceanic? Born and raised in the sea. Why'd you move here? Chasing the American dream, I guess. You moved with your family? No, I'm the only one who could move here. Oh. Man, oh why? It's not easy for our people. Especially the females. To get higher education. I guess scholarships and the opportunities. I wasn't sure about moving, you know. But my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? The video seems gold. It's so funny, man. I fucking, like... It's, it's like, such genuine rage. It's like, can you imagine being told that? <laughs> Wrong ice cube. They're all the feckin' same! <laughs> fucking love Call Me Kevin, man. <laughs> I take Esau as well, like, fun. <laughs> Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? Mm, they can't. Do you know how hard it is for my people to get a U.S. visa? Sorry to hear that. It's okay, we're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Do you have siblings? Of course. We are sea people. My extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Whoa. That's a lot. I really, you really have that many relatives? Of course not. So it works out, Lee? Ah, oh, okay. You gotta check that out if you get a chance, Lee Phone. Just, even if you like, just, uh, just tap the link and press like on the video for YouTube and then just go back to it later. Uh, if you count my gr grandpa's kids and grandkids, I can actually, I can just send it to you on Discord. What am I saying? Aqua seems squishy. Absolutely, yeah, 100%. Definitely nervous. If you want to grab my grand, if you want to count my grandpa's kids and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. Holy! How about you, Freya? Do you have any siblings? I did play it. Twitch doesn't like my connection. Ah, okay. I have, not as many as you, I assume. <laughs> I have a little brother, four years younger. He also lives in Seattle. No, he's living in France, uh, San Francisco, near our parents' house. He's the good kid, and I'm the rebel. Working some high-end tech job while taking care of my dad on the weekends. That's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. <laughs> Oof. I know. Anyway. I want to order something. Another espresso? You know the usual. I 
hate when people say that the usual fucking here. Bitter. Just the way I love it. Alright, good. I thought you were about to complain. <sighs> Alright, what the fuck are you? I'm sorry. Look, the one on the right is believable. You just look like a fucking furry. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be honest, fella. How can I help you, sir? Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps. Hmm. 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 Nothing you like on the menu? I can make you a custom drink if you like. Actually, are you familiar with STMJ? I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. If you can tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can recreate it. Ah, look at me. SMJ stands for Susu Teller Madu Jahi. It's in Indonesian. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Fucking eggs? Wait, do you have eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf. But I'll add egg once I've mixed the rest of it. What the fuck? Well, yeah, I only got four slots, so how's this gonna work? You could fucking... Okay, so I'll add the egg after. Okay, right. Ooh. Means milk, egg, honey, ginger. Okay, so I, can... I have milk, honey, and ginger. Milk... Honey, ginger, and just toss a fucking egg in there. What about the fucking egg? Dumb fuck. What about the feckin' egg? <laughs> I've traveled to so many places in the States. I know them get the SM the STMJ right. Well maybe you'd fucking say it in the right order. Hang on a second, what did he fucking say? I'm 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 sick of this shit. <laughs> I couldn't uh, this is I couldn't be a fucking bartender. Milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Right. What is it? You almost got it right. You should have put the ginger in after the milk. Well, you know, that's fucking funny. Because you had ginger at the very end of your fucking sentence. So, fuck you. If you wanted the fucking ginger in after the fucking milk, why don't you tell me you want the fucking ginger in after the fucking milk, you dozy cunt? French politician posed in a Playboy magazine cover? Excuse me? What? <laughs> Feckin' dumb fuck. Ask you or something. Sure, ask away. What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? Excuse me? Aren't you college students? Uh, no, we're not. But, uh, oh, we. Oh. Um. You give me bad vibes, bro. May I ask how old you are? Err. You're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. I mean, that, that was kind of rude, but for both of you. First Tifa, Lockhart, and now this to fight about women and LGBT rights. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, it's, it's fucking four minutes to midnight. I'm not going into politics. <laughs> hey, Shane. I just... Who is this pervy old man? Bro, come on. Right, you. <laughs> I was making a joke, but you assume the worst in people. <laughs> All he did was ask what fucking age you are. 
Yeah, we don't care. She's just a bitch anyway. I want to... I have no idea. It's the first time here. I want to be able to understand young people. Maybe he has a fucking daughter or something? Is that it? Oh, great. An officer. Thank God you're here, Officer Georgie. What's up? It's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. <laughs> Hang on a second, let's just look at this from a perspective, right? So, they're not college students, right? They're, they're, what, like, they're in the 20s or some shit. Okay. Um, he asked them their age. And her immediate response is, I need a police officer. He backed off and went back away and kept his distance when she said, back the fuck off. And <laughs> on what charge exactly are you intending for Georgie to do shit about this? <laughs> you still don't even know the context of why he's asking. <laughs> he sucks. Let's not talk about politics here. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate the ghost. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not even commenting on like what you're talking about. I just mean in general. No, the food. Macaroni. Stream is chill. Let's enjoy it. Yeah. Um... Hey, Fawn, that's two streams in a row you've brought up feckin' politics. Read the fucking thing coming into chat. Trouble stir. <laughs> Where? You mean him? Yes, but not so loud. This man here is Rachel's dad, Freya. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. He's trying to relate to his daughter. He asked me to meet me. I'm talking about fucking food. <laughs> you know what you're doing. So I told him to come here. Oh. I didn't know that Rachel's dad was a pervy old man. Oh my god. Yada yada. <laughs> no wonder she ran away from home. Everyone please meet Mr. Furlong. Rachel's dad. I forgot about the politician, I swear. Okay, okay, alright. We'll let you let, we'll let you off. Now, let's all unanimously agree Freya's a dumb bitch. We can all, we can all come together on that, right? It's not a controversial statement. Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya and Shane. I'm hungry. Honestly, same. I probably might grab something before bed. Please call me Hendry. Oh, you just had to add the fucking D, didn't you? I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Hendry Furlong? Yes. And you're Rachel Florenza's father? Yes. Furlong. Florencia. Why do you have different last names? Bro, it could be a fucking stepfather. It could be a fucking... Uh, it, they could have taken the mother's maiden name or something. Like, why are you such a nosy cunt? Holy shit. What are you trying to pull? Oh, my... I hate Freya. I fucking hate Freya. Oh my god. I fucking hate this bitch. I hope you never make it in anything of pursuit. I hope you are a sad, lonely bitch. <laughs> Which you are already, so I've succeeded in that matter. I'm getting fucking triggered at a virtual pretend NPC. What the fuck? Oh my god. Florencia was my late wife's maiden name. Oh, yeah, exactly. You feel like shit now, don't you? You cunt. I'm sorry. Rachel chose it for her stage name. Freya. Okay, I think I better work on my novel. No, you gotta work on your fucking personality. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. Freya, I'll come with you. Anyway, what was it you wanted to talk about to me? It's about Rachel. That night when you drove her home. Was she hanging out with shady people? Well, I think one of them was a bit shady. Hey, I heard of that. What? I'm not a criminal. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and Shane here. She wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? What well, about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything alright? It's just that I feel that she's getting more and more distant. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we end up fighting. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned, give them time and space. And be there when they need you. Or you can just bribe them. <laughs> One time I had to fight with my eldest daughter. She didn't want to talk to me for like a week. 
I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rockbo's and bought her favorite pie. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. Now I just waited for her to take the bait. Aw, father to father talk. Hell yeah. Then I just waited for... Oh yeah, just like a stakeout. Once she took a bite of the delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. That pizza really helped smooth things over. This is genuinely good advice. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. What if... What if she loves... What if what she loves doing is the problem? Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young. But the entertainment industry isn't a kind place. Very true. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. This is actually something I kind of relate to in a little bit of a way. Because, like, when I started, like, I always had this idea, I mean, I think a lot of kids do when they're younger, of, like, fame, you know? Especially if, like, our generation, you grew up, like, with the social media for the first time. Um, and, like, having that, like, social media influencer kind of, you know, possibility. Uh, and that, that was always, like, one of the... F- things in my head it was like one of my big fears is like not to be i, I didn't want to be forgotten you know like i didn't want to die and be forgotten I, I had a massive fear of like dying i still kind of do but I, i've kind of wrestled with it enough now at this stage yeah fans suck fuck that shanghai <laughs> but um yeah like with with that like i in order to not be forgotten like my whole thing is like I want to be famous and when I was younger I was more so into music I want to get more into music again but not for the sake of like being famous and that's the same with like uh, that's the same with like the writing like it's it's not necessarily I would be more than happy to be like I don't need to be Stephen King with my writing or even like with the social media it's gotten to a stage and especially in the last I think three years where I'm like, there's a difference between famous and successful, you know? Like, I would like to be successful and comfortable, where I can profit off my creativity, but be able to go out into town and, like, live my life, you know? Like, that equal balance. It's the same thing with, like, Twitch. It's like, I think what Pixel Kate had going, or when she comes back, what she has going, is a really good thing, where it's like, you're not too big for your boots where like you can't even keep up with chat and everything's going crazy so you can't build that proper community and it becomes a me versus these other people kind of thing whereas if you have like a medium sized community that's manageable it can be an actual us rather than me and you kind of situation if that makes any sense so yeah I know, long spiel but I, I don't know I just felt a relation to that I don't trust her new manager. Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed? Or forced to do drugs? So what Markiplier wishes he had again? Yeah, yeah, in a way, I think. Because, it, like, it, it, I mean, it, I think a lot more people are open to it nowadays because everything is just so out there, you know? Like, social media just exposes so much in terms of, like, celebrities' lifestyles, and it's like... It really isn't all it's... Or at least it doesn't seem to be all it's cooked up to be, you know? I mean, these people, like, they look like they lived miserable lives. They're all fucking drug drug addicts. Um, It it just seems awful. And the, the lonely... I can only imagine what the loneliness must feel like. Like, that isolation of just being, you know... You, you can't form connections with people without them thinking of you as this, like, you know, icon or something. Well, nothing's happened yet. I just feel it in my guts. <laughs> no, that, that was a nice, a nice little uh, add-on there. Is it possible that you're just being paranoid? I don't know. Maybe. Psst, Shane, I need to go now. Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. I fucking hate that sound. Is Ghost still here? <laughs> they fall asleep. <laughs> well, can't you just find another manager? Rachel's already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit. Every time I brought it up, we just end up fighting. As a parent, there's really nothing much we can do. Night, Ghost. <laughs> Snore on the squishy laps. <laughs> Sooner or later, we'll have to trust them to make their own decisions. 
and everything we taught them. Oh, actually, so I don't know why this kind of popped into my head just randomly, but uh, I have completely came up with the full like. Now I haven't I haven't like gone into detail about it or wrote it up, but I've got the premise for one of the stories that I want to do for one of the Spotify audio like horror stories, that kind of thing. Uh, I've got one of them like really, really pictured in my head now. I think it's a good one. So um, I'm happy with that. Once I have an idea of what they're all going to be, I can kind of start working on it. But that's going to be a long project. But it was nice to actually think of something up. And with everything we thought them, hopefully they'll make the right choices. What if she made the wrong choices? I can do a background check on the manager. If that will ease your mind. Please do. <laughs> Just goes on his phone. <laughs> okay, give me a name. It's Morris. Last name, Lester. Morris Lester, got it. Oh, isn't he the guy in today's paper? Yeah, he robbed the, uh... Fuck. Yeah, yeah, no, I think he, I think he's in Los Santos. He's working with a crew out there. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's, he's bad news. Let's know if there's a hit. I want the squishy girl again. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta take this. I've just got a call, I've gotta go. I'd love to talk more about this with you. Let's meet again soon. Wait. You have my contact details. Call me if you ever need me again. Wait. He's gotta go, bro. Oh, I feel bad for Andrew. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be alright. I used to manage a girl band. I've seen bad things happen. That bad? Yeah. I was against her joining that pop group at first. But my wife, Rachel's mom, she convinced me to give it a chance. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk to Rachel. With her wanting to do more of her own stuff, I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling and a solo singer career? It's a whole different world than the band familiar with that side of the biz but things have changed right even if it has i don't think it's for the better yeah very true she survived being an idol shut the fuck up freya you were accusing of being a fucking pedophile either even managed to graduate and start a solo career she sounds like someone who can take care of herself don't you think so she's not ready i don't want her to get hurt there are a lot of bad people out there people that want to take advantage of her you are her father. I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. Is it really what's best, though? I think she's born to sow her. But she's just a girl. My little girl. Seriously? That's your argument? I didn't mean to sound that way. It doesn't matter whether she's a boy or a girl. It'll drive her away if you keep on acting like this. That wasn't the point. <laughs> With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dreams. I was once a stubborn young girl, too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. Well, no, because you're still a rebellious teen, so you obviously haven't learned how fucking stupid you are. I'd love to hear it. Is it okay if I stay a little bit longer, Shane? Take all the time you need. I'm like a quarter to halfway through this game, and I have not learned about any new fucking drinks. I am disappointed. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it off at that, guys. Um, it was kind of a quiet night, or quiet day in general today. But, uh, yeah, I, don't, I, did, I didn't want to get too annoyed at that Undertale. I enjoyed Hogwarts earlier. That was fun, though. Uh, we'll keep going with this game. Obviously, people seem to like it. Uh, it's a bit of a... Streams are a bit of a hit or miss in terms of trying to get it right for people because it just depends, you know? Everyone's got something every now and again, so it's kind of hard to time it, but sure luck. We'll see. I'll try and keep the polls up so I know when people want them. But for now, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.